What's up everyone, this is how to stream to TikTok from your PC in 2022, including how to find your stream key and what to do if you don't have a stream key. You can use the timestamps and the chapters below to navigate through the video. If you need any help with anything, you can join my Discord server, it's linked in the description, and come in the stream on TikTok channel and ask any questions you have. So firstly, this is how you find your TikTok stream key and I'll explain what to do if you don't have access to one. So just head to your TikTok profile on your PC and on the left hand side, you should see this button which says go live. So you just go ahead and click it and this window will pop up. Give it a title, add an optional cover image, an optional topic. And I would leave this final one unchecked just in case your stream disconnects. You don't want it to automatically end the stream. When you're happy with that, just hit save and just like that, Here's your stream key and here's your server link. You can also get your stream key from your phone and I'll put an animation above me showing how you can get your stream key from your phone instead of from your PC. Now, once you've got your stream key, you want to download OBS Studio from obsproject.com and make sure you're on the correct website. There's a lot of scam websites out there. And once you've got OBS open, you can skip any setup dialogue and you should have something looking like this. And I'll show you how to set up just the basics on OBS. So firstly, you need to decide whether you want to stream in vertical mode or in the landscape mode that you'd see on Twitch or YouTube streams. Now I like to stream in vertical mode because phone streams and normal TikTok videos are also in vertical mode. And I think the viewers are more familiar with it. So here's how I change OBS to vertical video mode. So I'm just gonna go in the settings here in the bottom right and I'm gonna click on video and what I need to do Let's change some of the resolutions here. So I'm just going to flip this around from 1920 by 1080 to 1080 by 1920. And you need to put an X there. And the output scaled resolution, exactly the same, 1080 by 1920. Now the other two settings you can see here depends how powerful your PC is. I would recommend either just playing around with these to see how much CPU usage gets taken up or looking at some YouTube tutorials. I'm going to turn these to max for me because I've got a good PC, but it entirely depends on your PC. So I'm just going to hit apply and OK. And now you can see my OBS is now in vertical mode. And again, I'm going to keep it simple for this. I'm now just going to add my screen and my camera. So I'm going to hit this plus in the left corner. I'm going to click on display capture, which is going to capture everything on my screen. I'm just going to call this third monitor. Hit OK. Choose my third display down here. And hit OK. And as you can see, my monitor is now displayed on the screen. Of course, I have to resize it to get it to fit. And I'm also going to go into settings quickly into general and turn on source alignment snapping here, which will snap it nicely to the edge of the screen. Another nice thing I can do here is right click it, click on transform and center it vertically, which puts it in the middle of my screen. Next, I'll add my camera. So I'll hit the plus button again, click on video capture device. Type in webcam, press OK, and my camera is being used by another device right now, but we'll pretend that the OBS virtual camera is my camera. So I'll turn that on, size it to what I want. Personally, I love putting my camera in the bottom right corner. Reason being, TikTok chart is in the bottom left, you're in the bottom right, your gameplay or whatever you're streaming is in the middle. And finally, what I usually do, press the plus button, add some text, call it title, and just explain what's happening in your stream. So for example, if I'm playing Fortnite, I'll just type live Fortnite, place it in the middle of the screen. I'm gonna go transform center horizontally. So now the TikTok viewers, they can see what the stream's about. They can watch what I'm doing and they can see me and the chat is nicely in the bottom left as well. The final two sources I'm gonna add are my microphone and my computer audio. So I'm gonna hit the plus button, add an audio input capture Call that microphone, hit OK, then find my quadcast microphone, press OK. And as you can see down here, your microphone's now appeared. I'm not going to use my webcam's microphone, so I'm just going to right click it and hide it. And then I'm going to press the plus button again, audio output capture. These are my headphones, so I'm just going to type headphones, hit OK, and then select my game capture here. And you can see my headphones are now here. If I just press make an error sound here, you can see it lights up. And that confirms that my microphone and my headphones are now being captured and your viewers will hear this when you go live. I'm also going to add one very simple filter to my microphone. I'm going to right click this cog here, press filters, press the plus button and, and I'm going to add noise suppression here. Just hit OK, press close 
And you can see down here now, if I stop speaking for a few seconds, there is no longer any flashing green down here. If you were watching closely, you may have seen it beforehand. The noise suppression is the number one filter you can add to your microphone on OBS. Now, one last very important step before I go live is my bitrate. For some reason, OBS defaults your bitrate to 2500, which is a very bad bitrate. Your stream will not look very good in that. So I'm going to go in settings, click on output, and change my streaming bitrate to 6000. What you should do is test your upload speed. If you have a very good upload speed, I would recommend maybe 10,000. You don't need to go above that. Anything above 4,000 bitrate should give you decent stream quality. So that is my basic OBS setup when I'm streaming. Of course, there's thousands of OBS tutorials on YouTube if you want to go more in depth into how to use OBS. Now that we've got OBS set up, of course, you need to enter your stream link and your stream key into OBS. And this is pretty simple. So I'm going to click on settings again, and I'm going to hit stream. And I'm going to change the service from Twitch to custom at the top. And it's now asking for the server link and the stream key. So I'm just going to go and get those from the live page again. So I'm just going to copy these over one at a time. Enter the server link. Go back to the stream key. Copy the stream key. Hit that in. And then simply hit OK. And down here, you're now ready to start streaming. Now, many people on TikTok don't have access to this go live button here or the similar button you can find on your phone. We've tried to investigate the reasons for this. It seems like TikTok uses a third party provider for PC streaming and they don't want to give everybody access. But unfortunately, at the same time, it's not clear why they're picking certain people to have access. However, I'm now going to show you some methods you can do to stream from your PC, even if you don't have a stream key. So stick around. So the first method for streaming without a stream key it's Lula TV, and to access this, just head to lula.tv in your web browser. Now, of course, as you can see on the screen here, there's a free version and two different paid versions. The free version only gives you a bad resolution and only lets you stream for three hours a month. So I wouldn't suggest Lula TV unless you're an established creator. You would have to be willing to invest the $49 or the $24 it mentions here. And like I say, Lula's only really worth it if you're quite big on the platform. Now, I don't have access to Lula myself, but from what I hear, the setup is very similar to the OBS setup. And you can rewind the video and look at how I set up my own OBS. Now, here's a second method for streaming without a stream key. This is called the mobile gaming method. So as you can see on the screenshot I'm showing right now, some people have this mobile gaming option next to the device camera option when they try and go live on TikTok from their phone. What mobile gaming does is it simply records your phone screen the entire time. So what you can do is simply mirror your PC screen to your phone and then use TikTok's mobile gaming streaming feature to stream your phone screen to TikTok. And of course, your phone screen will be showing your PC. Now, if you want to mirror your PC to your phone, I've got two different solutions here. The first one is use an app like TeamViewer. You just install TeamViewer on your phone and your PC and open the TeamViewer app on your phone and you can see your entire PC. Alternatively, if you're already streaming on somewhere like Twitch at the same time, why not just pull up your Twitch stream on your phone and you can just broadcast your Twitch stream to TikTok via your phone. And the final thing you can do if you don't have access to a stream key is just stream from your phone. I've just found a very basic one here, which shows somebody doing it. Unlike this guy, I would suggest keep your phone still, maybe use a tripod. And don't forget if you're doing this, you can open up your chat from your PC, so you don't have to look at your phone. As you can see up here, just add forward slash live after your profile name. And you can see your chat. So if you're streaming just from your phone, you can keep your phone still and give the viewers a better experience. And that is how to stream from your PC to TikTok in 2022. Once again, if you need any help, join my Discord server. It's linked in the description. And thanks for watching.